I'm secured. My life is exempted from evil. Is that what somebody is saying? And much more. No evil befalls me. No plague comes near my dwelling. Troubles are not looking for me because I don't have the mark of evil. I only have the mark of Jesus. Thank you and thank you and thank you. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Say loud amen. amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are covered. Amen. You are exempted. Amen. If you have been blessed by the word that came to us powerfully this morning, let us give God a big hand and please take your seat. Shout, I am blessed. Every word we preach produces its effect. When we teach on success, we have success. When we teach healing, healing manifests. So this morning we've had the teaching on exemption. So what do you expect? Exemption. Let me hear you please. Exemption. What do you expect? Exemption. So when you hear the word, you are receiving the content of the word in effect, in practical terms. So over everyone who has had the word on its exemption today, your life and family are exempted. Amen. I'm glad you are saying a big amen. amen. I say you and your entire family, your business, your career, everything that concerns you, fully exempted. Amen. They are fully exempted Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. In closing of the teaching this morning, we heard about the mystery of the anointing, oil. We live in a mysterious world, and we need mysterious solution. It takes mystery to confront mystery. Don't attempt to use grammar to confront mystery. Explanation cannot confront the evil manifestation. The rod of Moses was required to destroy the rod of the magicians. There are magicians everywhere. But when they see superior magic, they bow to it. Some people have told you that the anointing oil we use is magic. Don't argue with them. That's how they understand it. So don't tell them, oh, we are not using magic in our church. You are wasting your time. <laughs> when they couldn't understand what was working in Daniel, they said the spirit of the holy gods is inside them. Because he was superior to magicians, to astrologers, to soothsayers. He was made master over them. So for you to gain mastery in exemption, you need master weapon. And that's what you are holding in your hand. What are you holding in your hand? Now, it is one of the mysteries that speaks. And what does it speak? Psalm 105, verses 13 to 15, it speaks. This is not just oil, it's a speaker. It's a spiritual speaker. There is a voice behind it. When they went from nation to nation, as we all go around, everywhere, from one king, he permitted no one to do them wrong. From today, by this anointing, no one will do you wrong. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. This is New King James Version. Uh, it's refined. I like the King James Version, so put King James Version. Amen. He reproved. He reproved. He's stronger than rebuke. He reproved kings for their sake. Like I said in the earlier service, he gave them bulala. <laughs> you know the hair word? I said, make no go there. <laughs> That's how God beats your enemy. 
He said, it will beat down your foes. Listen to this. <laughs> what we are talking about, no superior in your office can harass you. Amen. They harass you, they get backache. Amen. Anyone who attempts to touch you will receive backache. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. They look at you and say, what can you do? If they say, what can you do? Just carry the oil and put it on your head. Make the oil speak for you. This thing they speak of. This thing carry voice. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved even kings for their sake. He did that for Father Abraham. On two occasions, two kings took his wife. And God appeared in a dream and said, you took my wife. Because Abraham's wife became God's wife by covenant. By covenant, anything that belongs to God belongs to you, and anything that belongs to you belongs to God. So God said, you took my wife. You know, those of us who grew up in uh, some commoner setting and deep friendship, genuine friendship, your friend's wife is your wife. Not by carnal knowledge, I mean by, by covenant relationship. You fight, you fight anything that wants to tamper with your friend. It's not like today, you can't leave your wife or somebody for, for one hour. In those days, you travel for three years and tell your friend, please take care of my wife. And he takes care of her without touching her. Genuinely. I mean, well, our generation grew to that uh, up in the, to that generation, I mean, to that knowledge. Amen? Amen? Because of covenant. You know why I can't touch somebody's wife? Covenant. Covenant won't allow me to do so. People don't have understanding of the covenant again. That's why they misbehave. The covenant of seed, time, and harvest. You touch somebody's wife, somebody will touch your wife. It was a covenant that Job vowed. He said, if I ever lie down on another woman, may this following evil befall me. People take life casual. That's why they end in casualties. Well, that's another chapter for the... <laughs> but what we are saying is that you have a covenant with God. This oil ratifies or rather comes to give endorsement to it. The blood ratifies the covenant, but this anointing also endorses it. Saying, touch not my anointed. Say with me, I cannot be touched. Touch. Let me hear you. Say it very clearly. You know, you have to give voice to everything. As you are speaking now, that voice is entering into this oil. Rise to your feet. It's a seal of life over your life. It's a seal. It's a seal. It's a seal. It's a mark. It's a seal. No evil shall befall you. Amen. No plague will come near your dwelling. Amen. Let me hear you loud, amen. amen. So may no evil befalls me. No, no plague comes near me. No I am God's anointed. God's anointed. Caution. If you don't want evil to touch the anointed, let not the anointed touch evil. Otherwise, you are just making empty confession. There is who you are before this thing will work on you. You must be just. Proverbs 12, 21. There shall no evil befall the just. There shall no evil happen to the just. Job was a just man. Evil could not reach him. What made Job to fall? was not sin, but fear. Don't touch another man's wife. Don't touch another man's daughter. You too, you have daughters now. As you have men do unto you, do also unto them. Don't cheat your business partner. Don't take what does not belong to you. 
let righteousness and justice be restored back. That's the only way for this thing to work. You can put a drum of this oil on your head if you are living in sin. It can't work. It can't work. It doesn't work with charm. You put charm in your pocket and you put this in. You, there are other things you touch with your mouth. <laughs> in fact, this thing will destroy it. So you better, don't move close to this thing. Though. Don't move close to this thing. If you are living in sin, don't move close to this thing. Open your bottle of oil. While we are doing that, it will be our joy this morning to welcome all of our first-time worshipers. Today is your first time worshiping in this church. You are so precious. We like to thank God for your coming on this special service. Will you kindly come to the altar if this is your first time worshiping in this church? Carry your bottle of oil, um, your bag, everything you came to church with. Don't leave children behind, please. While they are coming, I like everyone to send the word out of your mouth. I'm covered. I'm exempted. I'm defended. No evil befalls me. No plague comes near my dwelling. If you're a first-time worshiper, please find a way at the altar or to the altar. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. We thank God for you. Keep coming. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, I'm covered. I'm exempted. Evil is everywhere, but they are not looking for me. My children are covered. My grandchildren are covered. Somebody speak. My business is covered. My career is covered. Others may be sacked, but not me. My name cannot be on the list of those who are frustrated. Others will be begging. I'll be giving. Others will be selling their properties. I'll be buying. Others will be hungry. I'll be feeding them. Others may be accidented. I'm fully covered. Angels everywhere, they are covering me. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we are prayed. Now, lift up your bottle of oil. Or if your neighbor gave you some in your hand, please just stretch it out. Help your neighbors, please, in case somebody next to you doesn't have. Now I declare that this becomes holy anointing oil. Amen. Let your amen ring very loud. Amen. This will no longer be ordinary chemical product in your hand. Amen. It is now turned into prophetic. Amen. Everywhere you anoint, including yourself, become separated. Amen. Uniquely separated. Amen. Exempted. Amen. From any evil of the day. Amen. Your business will not run down. Amen. Your career will not close up. Amen. Your business center will blossom. Amen. Evil occurrence shall no longer be had in your camp. Untimely deaths will no longer happen in your family. Amen. Evil diseases that destroys will no longer find a way to your home. Amen. If there is anything dying around you, they come back alive by this anointing. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Now take a portion of it, either on your fingertip or your right palm, Place it on your forehead and begin to and declare those words you've heard right now. Profess them. Declare them. Make it very loud. Make it very loud. Let your voice be heard. Open your mouth wide and let God fill it for you. Father, and if you wish, you can speak in the language of the Holy Ghost to stir up the power of the Holy Ghost for your covering, for your defense. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I thank you, my Jesus. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Because you confirm the word of your servant and the counsel of your messenger. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Now, with this end on your head, you are fully sealed. Fully covered. 
with no evil attempting to reach you anymore. In Jesus' precious name. And all the saints of God in the house say very loud, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Our first time worshipers at the altar here. We are so delighted to have all of you here. The entire church is excited that you are here. Please be encouraged. Don't stop at coming. You have only come to have a taste of the blessing. In our subsequent services, come and enjoy the blessing. On Wednesday and next Sunday, come with your friends, your acquaintances, large enough room to contain you, and everyone around you know you as a fellow citizen of heaven. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Please take a turn this way, look at our church officials, and go with them. Now, everyone in the assembly, please take this instruction, anoint your home, anoint your businesses, anoint your vehicles, and everything that has to do with you. Evil will no longer abide in your home. They may come, but they will not gain access. In Jesus' name. Good news. Based on the word we have heard this morning about pursuit of kingdom and devil, this week we are stepping into make it a week of sacrifice for souls. So me week of sacrifice for souls. What does that mean? Between now and next Sunday, you are bringing a sacrifice of at least one soul for Jesus. That's what we are called to do. So come with a soul into the house of God, either saved or invited to come. Tell them about what your God is doing. It's our next level service. Please come with them and see the wonders that God will perform in your life. An earlier announcement has been made for us, everyone to participate in the One Million Rally Souls on Saturday. Don't miss it. Um, it's 7.30 a.m. Movement will be from here to be mass. Come in your vehicle, come with your vest, come with everything, and come, let's announce Jesus to our world. To God alone be the glory forever. Say loud amen. amen. Help me tell your neighbor, I know you are coming with the soul next Sunday. Oh yes, I'm so happy that you are saying that to your neighbor. And your neighbor, does your neighbor agree with that? Yes. Good. Well, to God be the glory forever. In Jesus' precious name. Now, let us take a shot of this anointing oil to serve as a seal for the blessing of God. <laughs> this thing works. It is called liquid fire. Liquid fire. When it goes inside you, it becomes fire. Every stranger disappears. Everything dying inside you must come alive. Amen. Now this is toast for your health. In the name of God the Father, amen. God the Son, amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And all the saints of God in the house say loud amen. amen. Take it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Before we take the final prophetic word, please keep your bottle as you go. That's a prophetic instrument for you. In uh, the joy of the season ahead of us, that is the platinum celebration of God's servant. <laughs> Bishop David Oedepo will say a word of blessing, a word of greeting that will be taken to him as a church. May I at this time, on the behalf of the pastorate, the leadership, the workers, and the members of this assembly at Living Faith Church, Lokogoma, express our great, deep gratitude to God as we express a big congratulation to God's servant, our father, the apostle over this commission, Bishop David Oedepo, at the time of celebration, celebration of grace, celebration of glory and honor. The entire assembly wish to let you know that our heart's desire is to wish you the best of God as you celebrate this occasion. And every one of us waving hand to you and saying happy, happy birthday to you. Amen. God is a good God. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Let's quickly attempt to sing a song, happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. The best of God is what we wish you and desire for you as our spiritual father in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Now, everyone, as you go this week, the Lord go with you. Outstanding happenings in your life. Greater grace and glory around you. Manifestations of signs and wonders. That's what God has made you and you will not be any less this week. And all who will testify, say a very loud amen. Amen. Hold your neighbor's hands to the right and left and the loudest we can, let's share the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy 